Hi, I'm Serafina Foreman. And I'm Willa Sippel. Welcome to Tell It Like It Is. On Saturday, the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change released a report that called for urgent action. It stated that over the next 12 years, we need to prevent the 1.5 degrees Celsius predicted increase in global temperatures. To learn more about the impact that humans have on the planet, we spoke with New York Times best-selling author and climate writer, Alan Wiseman. Well, the UN has told us that this figure that everyone had in their mind after the Paris Climate Accords a few years ago, that somehow two degrees centigrade increase over pre-industrial temperatures was going to be the safe threshold for us, that's not true. Some of the things that are happening on this planet are really driven by these extreme changes. I mean, take the terrible war that we have seen in Syria. That was prompted by what is a 12-year drought. It's not going to be safe. We, if we get to two degrees centigrade, we're going to have catastrophic changes going on on the planet that even if we stopped all of our carbon dioxide emissions, those changes would be feeding on each other and they would just keep warming the earth. One of the first things we can do is get out the vote to make sure that people who understand this problem are going to be the kinds of people that we elect. We're off to a good start, but we need the political will to encourage that good start to continue and then industry will follow. So we still have a long way to go to start making those changes that we have to make. We also sat down with UN specialist in technology in conservation and climate change, Clea Paz. But what we need to do is to do this transformation now, reduce 45% by 2030 and trying to reach this net net zero global uh, net zero emissions by 2050 if we want to reach this target of, of not going above 1.5 degrees. That what I work on especially is on, on nature-based solutions and that's my area of expertise so there's a lot that we could do to manage the land better and to protect forests. Cutting forests, we're cutting forests at a really alarming rate right now. If we stop cutting forests and especially burning forests, you heard all the fires in California, the fires in the Amazon and, and in other regions. Said, you know, the, the most important thing is we need to get the political will with, from all the governments in the world to implement this transformation. Uh, but not only national governments, also subnational governments, you know, cities, uh, local governments can do a lot, and citizens as well. If you want to get involved, check out the Environmental Club, which meets Tuesdays at 2. And don't forget, next week is Vegetarian Week. Thanks for watching. This was Tell It Like It Is.